Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to go over some S-Log2 footage and how I color grade it using the Phantom Ari LUT Pack. If you haven't yet, I'm going to leave a little card right here so you can go watch my last video. I shot a full video in S-Log2. My color grading process is going to be today's video because everyone was asking me, how do you color grade Sony's 8-bit S-Log footage? And I'm going to show you the full process. We're going to make it nice, short, and sweet because the LUTs that I use, the Phantom Ari LUTs, make color grading S-Log2 footage so easy. I have a clip of my friend Mike in Final Cut right now. Obviously you can tell it's, it's extremely flat. We shot it in S-Log2. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna slap a quick LUT on it. So I'm gonna use the Utopia LUT from Joel. Famularo's Phantom Ari LUT Packs. And guys, you can already tell. Look at the difference. Flat, and that's actually pretty good. These LUTs are made to go on full, so you don't have to like dial them back or anything. After looking at this image, you can see that it's, it's pretty cold, and that wasn't the vibe I was going for. I wanted to warm it up because we were out in the woods. It was, I mean, we were right, like right around golden hour, but the sun disappeared. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to here, and I'm gonna go into my color wheels. And now you get all these wheels and you can control your shadows, highlights, midtones, and pretty much the intensity if you wanna pull back some shadows or, or take back some highlights. And I'm gonna go up to window, workspaces, color and effects. So now it brings up all these grids and charts. And the main one I'm gonna focus on is this one. We wanna get this Luma grid nice and spread out. For this particular scene, I'm actually going to bring back some highlights so that you can see over there on the grid on the left. We're getting pretty close to 100, which is, I'm gonna keep it right under 100. And now obviously the, Im the whole image is a little too bright. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring back down some shadows and we're gonna create some contrast in there. And I really don't like bringing it below zero. So I think that looks pretty good. Go down to mid-tones. Sometimes I don't touch these, but sometimes I'll toy around with them. I'm gonna bring these down just a hair. And like I said earlier, I think this image is a little cold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to temperature and I'm gonna see what 6,500 looks like. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna see what 6,000 looks like. I think that is where the money's at. I do think his skin tones are a little too yellow for my liking, so we're gonna go into the highlights, and we're gonna try to make these a little more natural by pulling towards the, the reds and the, and the oranges. And I think that looks pretty good right there. So I'm gonna combat pushing the highlights into more of like the orange tones by bringing the shadows into more like the teal, bluish colors should look pretty good. Not a lot, but we're gonna just dance around with it. I think that looks pretty good, guys. That's just with the color grade that we did. So guys, if we take off our color correction, this is what it looks like with the LUT. This is what it looks like straight out of camera S-Log2. We're gonna throw the LUT back on and throw our color grade on. And guys, I think that looks pretty dang good. Now guys, I'm not a professional colorist or anything like that. This is honestly like probably the third or fourth time I've actually like dove in and color graded S-Log2 footage. But if you have any questions or if you have any feedback, please leave a comment down below because obviously I wanna get better at coloring footage. And if you have any questions and you think I can help you, please feel free go ahead and ask away and I will answer them the best that I can. If you liked the video, go down, smash that thumbs up button. Helps the channel a ton, especially because I'm an extremely small channel and I'm trying to go and I'm trying to push out content for you guys. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more content like this. I'm trying to put out like two videos a week right around there and I, I like taking suggestions. So if you guys wanna see something on this channel, don't be afraid to ask. I appreciate you guys tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace.
think like right there on the last video I shot a video.